In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four colorful banner options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the step one comes and then you can add the option A, the detailed text and you can add the icons here and I have given the shadow of it to look more realistic. Then I'm just going to click the second option which comes the step two you can see here then the step three with different color combination then step four likewise i have created one more slide with some different uh, background color so it looks something like this so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to light gradient background then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size at the bottom here i'm just going to keep it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any dark color here then i'm going to add one more rectangle again from this position you can see here so depending on the requirement i can select the size again shape outline make it no outline now i'm going to cut this from both the positions for that i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw a right triangle shape outline make it no outline shape will give some different color so that we can we know exactly from where we need to cut it so i'm just going to put it this corner you can see it has to start from here and then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d and i'm going to just rotate it flip horizontal and then i'm going to make it flip vertical all right and then i'm just going to bring it down something like this so this end and then you bring it to this corner you can see here so we end up getting shape something like this so what i'm going to see uh, do is i'm just going to keep only the blue one which is visible only that one and the remaining i'm going to cut it and you have to make sure that uh, it is properly aligned otherwise a line can come so i'm just going to select this hold the shift key select the small right triangle merge shape i'm going to subtract it and again hold the shift key select this right triangle let me just do it again select this merge shape and i'm going to do a subtract again so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and now i want to add one more shape here for that i'm going to select this ctrl d to duplicate you can see here i can just simply uh flip vertical here and i'm going to place it let me just give some a different color you can see here exactly like this and send this to back now the size is a, a large a big one i want to cut this so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe till here so i'm going to select this yellow shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this now let's give some different colors to this one i'm going to select this right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give a gradient fill with a dark color so select the gradient color type select the linear and i'm going to choose one color which is a black one you can see here and i'm going to make it something like this the same one and then here i'm just going to choose a lighter color here so one end you got the darker color and the lighter color and here also i'm going to choose the gradient fill all right and here again i'm going to choose the linear and then one place i'm going to use the darker color and the other also i'm going to use the darker color in the center i'm going to use somewhat lighter color okay so it looks something like this and then if you want to add some shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape will make it black increase the transparency level and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then just rotate this put it here you can see here something like this you can just and then just send this to back so we got the shadow effect also here and then i'm just going to select this duplicate this one 
control D let me just duplicate this and then I'm going to reduce the size you can see here I'm just reducing the size here and increase the size and I'm just going to add one more here one more shadow effect you can see here something like this and then send this to back go to format and send this to back this also I'm just going to send this to back so that the shadow is visible now you can add the same same shadow here also I'm just going to add it something like this you can see here and increase the size or what I can do instead of doing this one just I can add select this one duplicate this I'm going to cut this one for example let me just cut this much part merge shape I'm just going to intersect you can see here then gradient fill I'm going to do it again type make it linear and here one end I'm going to make it black the other end I'm going to choose the color which we have used for this and make it fully transparent and bring it here so you can see here like this you can create one shadow effect for this end now it's time to add the text so go to insert text box and I'm going to say step one here step one center align make white font choose any good font bring it here make it bold increase the size give some shadow effect and put this one here as a step one control D to duplicate and I'm just going to type like a increase the size further and then just rotate it you can see here something like this and then add some detailed text so i'm just going to say equals lorem within bracket one and then i'm just going to delete some text here reduce the size make it white font you can see here you can then i'm just going to rotate it something like this again reduce the size and then just rotate it properly let me just move this and then i'm just going to rotate it and keep it here and if you're using the icons you can just simply go to icons and choose any uh, good icon let me just select this icon and place it here reduce the size to maybe 0.6 height and width all right and going to make as a white color here so with this uh, one design is ready now it's easy for us to duplicate this one so now i'm going to press ctrl a to select all the objects ctrl d to duplicate and bring it the other side and give a little bit of gap and then just put the option here and make sure that it is properly aligned so let me just put yes i think this is okay again press ctrl d and make sure that it is properly aligned all right and then one more time press ctrl d so depending on your requirement if you want to increase the options also you can increase the options so you can see here uh, the four options has been added now i'm just going to change this to option or the step three and four and this would be b c and d and then depending on your requirement you can just change the color you can just go here and choose any a uh, nice color combination whichever color combination which you feel suits you you can just choose the combination and here it doesn't look good so i'm going to choose the same color which is the eyedropper you can see here again let me just choose this one and i'm going to choose the red color and here i'm going to choose this one and select this one so now i'm going to select this one and you can see the blue color one i'm going to make it fully transparent so it looks uh, the white the black uh, shadow effect will not be visible here the shade effect you can see here so this is already it's 100 percent now uh, you just replace your uh, icons with some different icons and if you want to do a small animation also you can do the animation effect either you can just group all these objects together or you can individually also you can do the animations and if you want to add a few more objects or shapes like i'm just going to add some rectangle and this rectangle i want to add it something like this here also you know i can just give a gradient fill and here i'm going to use 
three stops so one stop i'm going to choose the eyedropper which is this color and here i'm going to choose the eye eyedropper with the help of this color you can see here and i'm going to make it linear and then i'm going to choose this one which is like this and shape outline make it no outline and then just send this to back and what you can do is we can add some shadow effect uh, with the other end also so let me just send this back or i need to just yeah so this is sent back you can see here and then i can just use this shadow effect press ctrl d again make it straighter reduce the size and put it here and just send this to back also or i can just say send to back also like this also you can do the shape for the rest of the objects also or the options also